Hey, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. Today is the playthrough for Lancaster. So what's the theme to this game? Well, yada yada. Like every Euro from a decade ago, it's just collecting points in the European countryside by trying to be uh, friends with the king. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a meaningless theme. Um, so that's, I guess, one bad thing right away off the bat. Uh, the theme kind of sucks. Um, this is going to be the playthrough review video. If you want to see the rules and setup, click on the link below. Uh, also, before we start, please like, subscribe, comment on my videos. That'll be amazing. Uh, and I like to give you my thoughts before the playthrough, so you sort of know what I'm thinking before we get going. Uh, what are some good, some bad, some ugly things? Um, let's just start there. Ugly, the board, uh, kind of terrible. This game really needs a 10th anniversary edition. Hopefully next year, maybe. Uh, hopefully we can fix the art, uh, fix the components. It's all kind of terrible at this point the game is 10 years old so uh, i mean what else can you say they're they are using nice cardboard chits for everything so that's good but you know the art and the color choices it's all kind of bad um although what is great for the components are these knight pieces i mean whoever thought about using these uh, thicker pieces for the stronger knights kind of genius i think it's the only game that i've ever seen with this mechanic it's kind of unique. I'm surprised nobody's done it in 10 years. Uh, I don't know how you would do the same thing in a minis slash upgraded version, but somebody will find out a way. Um, what else? So some bad things. Um, the art sucks. Theme is garbage. It only really works at four players. The game is fantastic at four. It works at three and five, but because the game doesn't scale at all, um, it's either too open or too restrictive. Uh, if you're not playing four so I would suggest only four players play this game um, another bad thing is you really need to play with the new laws expansion no matter what if not there's no variety in the laws so at least with the new laws there's a whole new stack of laws you shuffle them together and you'll see which ones you start with okay and lastly the AP could be a bit long if for your first play you don't know where to put your guys and one bad player can sort of tilt the game out of balance because they might kick off some people that are in third and fourth place when the guy in first and second are not being kicked out and getting stuff for cheaper so they're going to run away with the game all right that you know it's a worker placement game so that can happen all right but some great things i already talked about the uh, the player pieces great this game is super easy to teach it's super basic worker placement on the board with a bumping mechanism so um, that's also great the bumping mechanism I know people say Kalis is mean and maybe Carson City I find this like one of the meanest games on the market because the bumping thing is fantastic um, there's no other game I can think of that does it this way so that's pretty unique um, the expansions are kind of good in this game and I would suggest them click on the link below if you want to see that video and lastly um, what I love about the game, my favorite part, is that it's kind of mean. <laughs> Normally when you're playing a worker placement game, it's kind of solitaire. It's just a race for resources. But this one, I mean, if you have a stronger knight, you can sort of hold back. And then when somebody does a big play, just jump on top of them. So they lose all kinds of resources trying to do something, right? All right, so those are my thoughts. What do I give it on six? Sorry, that was kind of long. Um, I'll give it a 4 out of 6. It's still one of my favorite. I've had this game since it came out, so over 10 years, uh, almost 10 years now. So that's pretty unique in itself. I think it's one of the first games I ever bought. Uh, so this has definitely stood the test of time. Uh, good job, uh, Mr. Kramer, for creating it. Um, so let's just go straight through the playthrough and you'll sort of see how it flows with three players. It's going to be kind of open and we're not playing on our own player board because it's a little open, but uh, eh, you'll sort of get how the mechanics work. So let's get going. All right, welcome to the Lancaster playthrough. We'll be playing three players. I'll be red, playing against green, second player, blue, third player. I'll be first player. <laughs> I'll just give myself the gigantic chunky totem over here. And uh, before we start, uh, there is a pre-game uh, castle build. So you get a free castle piece at the start of the game. So you know, you take one of these and pick one to build automatically. But uh, I've played this game enough to know that this one is a bit overpowered, so I'll try not to take that one just to show you how the game plays. Um, so what I'll do is, uh, let me go for the, the upgrade one, Let's see if I can make that one work for me. 
and uh, I guess we'll get started right away. I picked some random ones for uh, green and blue. I gave one of them the double squire and I gave the other one the uh, three squires for a level one. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm first player. Um, I have my one of my two knights. So if you didn't know, this is a worker placement game. So you can place your worker anywhere on the board here or in a battle here or on your own player board down here to get the benefit up here. All right, so what do I want to do? First player could be good and not good at the same time. It's because if you put a guy out with squires, there's a good chance that he gets knocked out and you just lose your squires. So what I tend to do is just either as a first player go into a battle right away so I can get a bonus or um, go into somewhere without a squire just so I know he's going to get bumped off and then I can come back later with a squire and bump him out. Uh, so there's a couple of different options. Um, because a number two came out and it's so low, <laughs> I feel like just sending my number one there because I'm almost guaranteed somebody else will join me there just to get the extra points. Uh, so that's what I'll do. So I'll go here. And what happens is when you go into a conflict area, um, first of all, this is not like a regular worker placement areas over here on the left. This is per player color. So up here, it's all regular work worker placement worker rules so first come first serve uh, uh, every spot holds one person so on and so on on the conflict board over here it's uh, one region per color so because we're playing three players we'll each have our own spots up here um, but more importantly because i went there i get a king's favor right away so i'm looking at two of them that i could sort of take i can either take the double squire which is great in the long run or i can do the uh, upgrade so a free upgrade is not bad. I can turn this two into a three, or I can turn this one into a two. Um, both are good. <laughs> it's not really a bad option here. Uh, I also got to think that uh, I do need to get two squires by the end of my turn. I do start with two, but I need to have two for sure so I can get another free upgrade. Um, so I can get that for that. Then this guy might lose. Or I might end up losing squires. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Because this is the only way to get a number three right away, I'm going to dive into that spot later to get another number one. So I'm going to have three workers for next turn. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to turn this number two into a number three. So now I'm going to put my two back. And technically in my supply, I'll have a number three. He's supposed to technically be here <laughs> all right there you go that's my go now we're gonna do green's turn sorry blue's turn no oh, it is green green's gonna be the second player so he's gonna have the same uh, tokens as me and he's sort of gonna be aggressive this game i think so what he's gonna do also i didn't mention this parliament board <laughs> uh phase two of every game you're gonna do parliament step where we're gonna enact some laws to get some bonuses so these are the ones we're gonna be voting on so because this one is out which means don't have any um, nobles on your board. I don't think anyone's going to try to get nobles this round. Essentially, nobody's going to spend three gold to get both the benefits of the... I'll show you how that goes anyway. And we might want to get some number twos. The way things are going right now, I won't have any number twos, to be fair, because I'm going to have a number one and number three, and maybe a number another number one, unless I do an upgrade here to a number anyway <laughs> we'll get to that later and this one sort of sucks you have to spend one of each to get three points not really worth the uh, conversion so he's gonna try to maybe be aggressive to get a couple of number twos so that he can get his uh, his extra squires so I think what he's gonna do is look for an upgrade piece on the board and he sees one right over there so he's gonna definitely put his two there but what he's gonna do because he wants to be aggressive he's also gonna put a squire with him so the only requirement to placing on the board is the knight that you place, the base knight, has to match or exceed what's uh, on the county name here. So it's the number one, so you can put a number two, that's fine. And then you can add squires on top to boost his strength. So right now his strength is three. So for anyone to bump him, so that's the main mechanic of the game. Uh, we're sort of bumping on this board here. Uh, you're going to need to have a strength of four, which at the beginning of the game is super high. So I don't think anyone's going to go for that. So that's his go. And blue is going to play very conservatively. He's going to try to not use any squires at all. Um, so what he's going to do with his number two, he's going to try to play the uh, board extension game or the castle extension game. So he's going to put his number two over there. He's going to go right over here. 
He's not going to use any squires. He doesn't mind if he gets booted out. He's going to be okay. Jumps back up to me. And then I got my number three. So, um, hmm, a couple of options. <laughs> I can either go on this spot or this spot here. And I know for sure I won't get booted because they are... Um, uh, nobody else has a number three, right? So I'll be for sure to get those two. Or I could try to boot one of them, but I really want another number one without losing any squires so that I can do my castle piece later. So those two squires can feed into this ability, which I'll show you later during the reward step to upgrade one of my pieces. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go get another number one by putting my number three here. All right. I think green's gonna go next. And I think what green is gonna do is going to go right over here. Uh, he can go here to get another number one. Actually, technically I should have done that. Sorry, I didn't realize there was another number one there. I would have gone there because I know nobody would beat me out of there and I'm blocking off a spot for somebody else to get a number one because green would have definitely gone there to get another one at night because nobody can go into those spots there he's not going to use his he only has one extra squire which should be hidden but i'm going to tell you anyway <laughs> well you sort of know he used the one there uh it's kind of weird it's a game where you you not supposed to show people your resources but you can technically calculate how many they got during the game so somebody with good memory can actually calculate it so it's kind of useless um so he's gonna already get an upgrade of a piece um Sure, I think what he's going to do is he's going to come right over here and he's going to actually use a squire as well. So he's being very aggressive with his squires. He doesn't mind losing some apparently because he has the board extension here that gives him two extra squires. So he doesn't mind losing a bunch of them. And blue's going to go last. And I think what blue's going to do is he's going to come over here and he's going to get two squires because he needs those squires to power up his ability to get an extra knight. He's going to do this. He's going to get two squires right away. He needs three. He's got that board extension or the castle extension where he has to pay three to get a level one knight. All right, so there we're done. We all placed our workers. So uh, next we're going to go to the parliament phase. So I'll show you how that's done. So after everyone's done placing their workers, so if somebody got bumped, they might have to go again after. So it's not certain everyone finishes at the same time. And even if you're sort of done, if you're playing a big player game, you could get bumped later on in the turn order, so you'll get another worker, so you'll have to go again, right? So because we're only playing three, it'll be less bumping. There's no really much scaling going on here. All right, so now we're gonna do a parliament phase. So the way it works is you're gonna vote on this, then you're gonna vote on this, and you're gonna vote on this, and whichever ones uh, succeed, you're gonna push everything to the left over here. All right, see you. Uh, let's start with this one, so everyone's gonna vote. Let's. <laughs> I'll just simulate it because it's sort of hard to do this uh, by myself. But let's just say everyone said no and because nobody really wants to spend that money. All right, so, um, yeah, so let's say it's no. Now the second one, this one's interesting. So the only person that does not want that one to happen is me <laughs> because I don't have any number twos and every other player has a couple of number twos. So what's going to happen is... Um, I'm going to vote no, and they're both going to vote yes, and basically it's going to pass. So this is going to push everything off here. So it's going to go into the box. Everything's going to go here. And obviously the last one, everyone's going to say yes, because nobody has a nobleman. So this is going to pass. I'm going to slide everything over. I'm going to go like this. All right, there you go. Um, now we're going to get the rewards from the laws so whoever's in two regions on this game board over here is going to get three points and look at that green is the only one because blue and red are only there once so green's going to start off the points it's going to be at three look at that so maybe he, we all should have said yes to the first one to boot that one out because he was the only one to take advantage of that one anyway so the number twos here so it's going to be both other players are going to get one squire because i don't have a number two All right, and then the last one, everyone's gonna get a squire, a dollar, and a vote. Squire, a dollar, and a vote. Squire, a dollar, and a vote. And squire, a dollar, and a vote. 
It means they're gonna go behind my shield, but my voting cube. So I didn't lose any voting cube this round. They carry over. So uh, I mean, at the start of the game, I mean, all those um, laws, I didn't have I see a point in voting for them. So. All right, so that was the parliament phase. Then phase three is actually collecting a reward. So I'll show you how that's done. So we start always with the county and you work from A through I, so in alphabetical order. So blue's gonna go first here. And you basically get to choose. Do you wanna get the nobleman? Do you wanna get the um, the uh, the ability of the county? Or do you wanna pay $3 to do both? So I think, uh, <laughs> how much money does he have? He only has $3. Uh, you know what? At the start of the game, sure, he'll spend $3. There you go. I'll show you how that works. He's going to take both the nobleman and he's going to get a board extension. So I'll pick that right now. So he's going to go through his board extensions. And I think the one he's going to want is the, uh, is the dollar and the uh, squire one. Just give him that one. All right. So that was this one. So this one's going to go back to his personal supply. Next, we're gonna score B, which is the green. So the squires that were on the board, just toss them back in the general supply, you're not gonna need them. Uh, so green, same problem. He's gonna do an upgrade, but I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna upgrade his, uh, his one into a two. So he's gonna get rid of his one. He's gonna get a two instead. It's gonna go away. Back to his personal supply, and I think he will pay $3. to get the nobleman. All right, then we keep going, keep going, keep going. Then, oh, this one. So he's also gonna get a, a board extension. He doesn't have money now, so he's just gonna get this extension. Let me see. So he got the extension for the, uh, hmm. He will have two. I think he's gonna go for the money. He's gonna try to get a lot of cash. So you can get a lot of nobles to score a ton of points in the game. That's what mostly cash is used for in this game. You just wanted to get a lot of nobles so that you can do both powers and just score a ton at the end of the game. All right, we're going to keep going. Then I'm going to go. I get a number one. Hey, so I'm going to get an extra worker this round. So I'm going to take this and this back into my personal supply. Do I want to pay $3 for that? Sure, I don't think I'm going to go to F again this game, maybe. So I'll show you where this goes. He's going to go visit on my table up here. And these two guys go over there. And I'll pay my $3 for that. Just like that. We're going to keep going. We're done. All right, so that was the county board. Next, after the counties, you're going to do your own player board. So you're going to do this stuff here. And I'm going to activate my... Well, first you're going to get your voting chits or cubes. So I'm going to get two more. So now I got four voting power. Well, everyone else has four because they all got a nobleman. So let me give, give that to them. All right. And now we get to activate our board. I'm going to spend two squires to upgrade. So I'm going to spend two squires. And what I'm going to do is that uh, the number one that I have on the board, I'm actually going to upgrade him. So what I'm going to do is this one here. I'm going to upgrade him. So this one's going to go back here. I'm going to take my number two and replace them. That's why I wasn't scared that anyone wasn't going to go there because I always had the ability to upgrade them before this resolves, right? Um, so Blue's thinking about the same exact thing. So he, oh no, he's got the one that gives him an extra level one, which eh, it's not as good. So he's going to spend three, uh, sorry, just three squires, not, not a voting chip, to get another number one. And he's also gonna get a squire and a dollar. So he's still got a ton of squires, all right? And then green is gonna get two squires and two dollars. Boom. And done. All right, uh, sorry. That was our board extensions. Now we're gonna actually score the conflicts. So we're gonna look at each conflict that has somebody in it and we're gonna see who wants. So we have a strength of three against Francis too. So England wins, so we're gonna beat this. So the way that works is that whoever has the most is gonna get the points on the left, second most is gonna get what's in the middle. So I'm gonna get two points and blue's gonna get one. 
this goes back to the game box this one nobody fought in it or nobody's gonna get points because nobody was there so it's gonna slide down these get returned back to our personal supplies and that's it that was the round so it's very fast uh, for a reset all you do is you refresh the king's favor over here you're gonna flip over two more over here and you're gonna flip over three more laws one two and three so let's look at some of these before we start the round this is if you have three board extensions you'll get five points Ooh, both the other players might want to do that because they're on two each so i might have to dump a bunch of votes in here to vote against it because that's a lot of points here if you're in two regions you'll get a free board extension oh my god these two combo very good together and these if you have two number twos you'll get three points which is great for the other players because they already have it not great for me wow okay so uh that's not starting good for me so i'm going to take a break and i'll come back for round two all right let's start round two so i'm still first player because nobody went to Surrey, so that's fine so let's go to my player board so i gotta put a one or two and a three on the board well one at a time obviously um so what should i do so i'm thinking this round what i want to do is i think being a ton of spots on the county board so i can maybe get a free extension and maybe try to get one or two extensions but i want to put all three of my guys up here if possible unfortunately i only have one squire so that's going to be hard to do. So I need to be sort of aggressive with my number three so that the other players use up their squires. So I think the only way for me to do that right away is because I'm the only one who's able to generate a number one through my own player board. Actually, no, I don't. Sorry, I have an upgrade. But, hmm. But I know green has no way of generating a number one. So, and he doesn't have a number, he doesn't have a number three piece. So he's going to bum me no matter what I do if I put him here. So that's what I'm going to do just to be aggressive so that he needs to bump me up. And I'll show you how the bumping works in this game. Also, I needed to check a three is above a one. You remember, you always have to check that. So nobody can go here to get six points because nobody has a level four yet. But it goes without saying. So I think green because they have two number twos and they don't have a way of generating another worker. So they're desperate to get another number one. Um, I mean, they could spend a number two here to do an upgrade, to get a number three to put over there. But since they generate a ton of squires every round, they don't really mind. So what he's going to do, he's going to be aggressive. He's going to come here and he's going to come in with two squires, which basically bumps my guy back to my hand. And he's going to be now in Suffolk with two squires all right so now somebody has to go in with a strength of five which is super high early in the game maybe mid game late game it's five is nothing because you're just dumping all your squires to get whatever you need but early game that's almost a guaranteed to keep so now we're gonna go to blue uh, blue's problem though is he has a ton of workers but they're all super low so <laughs> whatever he wants um, he's gonna have to put some squires eventually uh, or come down here into the battle so he can do an upgrade or something um, So he already has two extensions. So I think what he's gonna do is he's just gonna bait out a guy out there He doesn't mind if he's Bumped at this point because he's got a bunch of squires to come back on top, right? So he's gonna go there. Let's jump back up to me So I still have all my workers because I got bumped So what do I want to do? Um, I think I think what I'm gonna do is uh, see I want to put my number three out so I can keep baiting them to make them lose their their squires so what I think I am gonna do is bump out blue by putting my number three out here and what that's gonna do is if they want to come back on top of me over here they're gonna have to use at least one or two squires so this is gonna go back up to blue so now let's go back to green uh, green unfortunately only has one worker left because he's desperately trying to get that number one there to get another worker so what is he going to do with his number two i think because he has two board extensions as well uh, he's just going to go over here try to get that third one i mean there's a chance we all well, actually you're going to score this before this gets scored so you always do the laws in order right so if this one passes and then this one passes we're going to score this before this so you won't gain the advantage of this 
extension before this one is resolved. All right, so that's why he needs to get another board extension. That was green, back up to blue, who still has all their workers because they were bumped again. So now they need to be aggressive. So they really want a board extension to get their third one. So a couple of options, they can either go into here and use two squires to go to four, or they can go there with a one or a two to put two squires to be doubly better, uh, or to be out of four as well. Um, I think he's looking around and what he's gonna do, I think, he's gonna come hip here and I think he's gonna lose use two squires to make himself a four and green's gonna get his worker back the reason he didn't do that to me is because mine's a three and he doesn't know that I only have one squire but if he kept count maybe I had two squires or maybe I'll go here to get him two squires and then I'll just boot him out and he would have lost two squires so by booting out green green would need to go back with his two and put three squires on top which would be really really expensive all right, so let's go back up to me. So I got my one and my two. So I think I'm gonna do my baiting thing again. Let's just put something out so that he gets booted out. Um, so I have a two and a one. Most likely, no matter where I put these, they might get booted. So let me just put my one over here. I mean, I could put my one with the squire to force other people from using their, uh, to force others to use their squires, but uh, I think I'm good like that for now back up to green the reason why green also wants to stay on this board is because he wants to have both his workers to get this even though he doesn't score this he'll get a free extension here so maybe he doesn't want to get into a fight uh, but the only way of doing that is to either go to Siri um, he's got two squires so he can't even go there he could boot me out of here for all his squires if he wants but that's super expensive um, I think what he's gonna do is just so he doesn't have to spend any squires he's gonna go here and boot me let's go back up to blue blue's got a couple of number ones <laughs> uh, he doesn't know where to put his number one so I think what blue's gonna do just because he hates going last he's gonna go to Siri right here and we're gonna go back up to me so now I got a couple of choices here uh, I got a number one and a number two. So where should I go? Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, all right? And I'm going to take the squire bonus. Because I only have one squire, at least I'll have three now. So in case somebody bumps me on the main board, I'll be able to come back with even more squires. All right, so that'll give me two squires. Let's put that behind my board. So green has no workers, right? Both of theirs are on the board, so he skips his turn. We'll go to blue. Blue's got one. He's got two squires. Um, he's gonna get his board extension. He will, he's already on the board twice. Uh, he could use this to get a bonus here. So where else could he go? Nowhere else. Okay, so he's good. He likes his position on the board. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna come right over here. And what he's going to do is he's going to choose the upgrade option here. Um, actually, I think he's going to want to get another nobleman this round. Maybe he'll go for the I one. So what he's going to do is because he's broke and he has no money. But the upgrade is always a great one. And then he can just get the uh, <laughs> this one to pick one up and not have, it, not have to worry about getting the money. Because he'll just pick it up directly with this one. So... You know what, he's going to go for the points because he's going to break a tie with me here. So what he's going to do, he's going to do this. So he's going to change this one into a two. Boom. So now the tiebreaker here is the one that's lower down. So the one that came to the battle later. So right now he's breaking a tie with me, so he's going to score three points. All right, so there you go. Um, oh, I still have my number one here. Actually, I can technically go on top of him. Um... Actually, what I'm going to do, oof, I could be super mean. I can go there, uh, but I think I'm going to be even meaner. 
since I picked up a couple of squires, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and boot out blue with one squire. So blue's going to get his guy back. So green again doesn't have a move. He's going to go back to blue who has one guy left. He does have two squires. Um, I think... So you see how bumping it's that you thought you were safe then you get bumped and then after you got to change your plans around a little bit um, so I think what blue's gonna do it's gonna be aggressive he's gonna go here with two squires boom he's gonna bump out green so it's gonna go around I don't have any knights then it's gonna be green so greens up next he really wants to be on the board to get that bonus like we already know um, Ugh. He doesn't have any great options because he does have two knights, but he knows no matter where he goes He'll probably get rebooted out. So he doesn't want to lose all his knights. Although he does generate two knights a turn uh, What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Uh, I mean All right, well, he knows what to do <laughs> He got booted by blue. Guess what blue? I'm gonna boot you back so he's gonna use as number two with two squires to boot blue back out. So blue's gonna lose his squires. Green's gonna go in there and blue's gonna get his guy back. And he's gotten, basically it's gonna be his turn again cause I don't have anything. Uh, so he doesn't have any more squires. So this has to go to a number one, which doesn't exist on the board. So he's just gonna go back into the battle here. And I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna do the uh, noble men uh, option here which he gets to take one that's on the game board. And since he has the one for A already, I guess he'll go for the... Uh, he'll go for the Bs before they disappear. Actually, he'll go for the F before it disappears and he might steal that ability from Green here who might have paid $3 to get this. So he's gonna take this one. That's another good thing about this one is you sort of get it before resolving the rewards on the table. All right, that was awesome. Uh, that was round two placement. Let's go to the parliament board. All right, so three extensions. Uh, nobody has three extensions. So uh, let's just say everyone voted yes anyway. Doesn't really matter. Just to move these things along. For this one, I think everyone but blue. Okay, so let's just say I'll vote. I'll throw in... Uh, let's say I throw in two vote chits, green might throw in two, and let's say blue throws in one to vote no, because he's the only one that's not in there twice, everyone else is. Guess what? It passes, so let's just lose some voting chits. I mean, like I said at the beginning, it's hard to sort of vote for the other people, logically. And then we're going to vote on this one. Uh, so who has a couple of twos? I have... Uh, I only have one, so I might vote no. Green has two twos, and blue has two twos. Okay, so let's vote. I'll vote two for no, and let's say they vote two and two for yes. There you go. So it passes. So I lost all my voting chits. Maybe that was dumb, who knows. So let's do that. Alright, so now we resolve. So nobody has this. Then this one. So that one's going to be green, and red are going to get a free board extension. So let me do that now. I think what I'm gonna definitely want to do is get the two squires so I can power up this one automatically. Sort of the overpowered ability, I would suggest to always play with it if you're new to the game. And green gets one too, so this is gonna be their third extension. Let me pick which one I want. And I think the one they're gonna take is the upgrade one like that. Actually, the number, yeah, yep. All right, cool. So let's resolve now in order. So let's just remove these squires from the board because they're kind of useless right now. So blue's gonna go first. He doesn't have money, so he's just gonna get the, well, he gets to choose. He's gonna get the extension for this one. So which one does he want? I think he's gonna take the, uh, He's going to try a ton of nobles, so let's give him the money. <clears throat> He's already at two, so that's good. 
Green's gonna go here, he's gonna get a free upgrade. Um, I'll turn his two into a three. Boom. I'm gonna go, I'll get a board extension with this one. I don't have the money to pay, so let's go to my board. Let's see, board extension. I think I'm gonna go for money as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go for money, so then I, mean, I still need an extra dollar on top of this one because I'm gonna try to get some more nobles. Uh, this one is pretty good. Yeah, let me put this one. There you go. Now we go to green, who's finally gonna get another number one. Let's put that on the board. And then we'll go to me. So I'm gonna be state first player, but uh, I don't have the money, so I'm just gonna get two squares and two bucks. I would have loved to have gotten the noble instead. Actually, instead of getting this, I can get the noble. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Instead of getting the bonus here, I'll just get the noble. I don't think I need the squares for next turn. Um, all right, that's the main board. Let's go to our player boards here. So I'm gonna get three uh, squares and a dollar. But then I'm gonna use two of them to upgrade a knight. And I think I'm gonna upgrade my two, uh, my one into a two. Sure, let's do that. That's gonna cost me two squires. I'll do that for the other players. Give me one second. Uh, he's gonna get three dollars. Uh, I'll do that in a, two seconds. And then I'll do this. I'll run their board and then I'll come back for round three. So here we're gonna score. We both have, well, he has actually three now. So he's gonna score three points for blue. One, two, three. I'm gonna score one point because I'm second place. And this one goes to the game box. We're gonna get our knights back. Uh, there you go. So now we're gonna refresh for the end of the round. This is gonna drop off. This is gonna slide down. I'm gonna drop two more. We're gonna get three more laws. And there you go. We're ready for the next round. All right, started round three. Actually, I did forget to score the last law in the previous round, so I'm gonna score it now. So green and blue both scored there. So I'm gonna give them three points each. One, two, three. One, two, three, which sucks, because now I'm behind. All right, so I'm first player again. I got a couple of twos and a three. So I'm sort of leading overall in knights, which is great. And we all have three extensions. So remember, at the end of the game, just FYI, you're gonna score the majority of knights, extensions, and then where your uh, nobles are all right so what do I want to do I think I'm gonna try to be aggressive again so I think I'm gonna go back on this number one right over here and see if anyone wants to knock me up let's see so we're gonna go to green um, green got a number four actually <laughs> he's got a one a two and a four um, I think he wants to see how things shake out uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. He has no squires though. So you know what he's gonna do? He's actually gonna be strategic. He's gonna put his thing here, here, to get the double squire here. So he's gonna get two squires so he can actually put them on the game board in a couple of seconds. Next is gonna be blue. Um, I think what blue's gonna do, blue doesn't like his workers. He's sort of behind. Um, So blue, blue, blue. What is gonna blue gonna do? Blue is gonna see if he can get a free upgrade here. Somebody might boot him out, but we'll see what happens. I'll jump back up to me. So I'm sitting pretty here with a couple of twos. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep on trying to fill up my castle. Um, I do need a number one, but I need the money. I might send my other guy here to get coins so that I can get both abilities uh, sure let's go up here in a three-player game the game is a bit more open in four there's a ton of conflicts out here you're constantly getting bumped out and put back in a three it's a little less cutthroat um, which is good I guess 
So three does want to get that free number one. So I think what he's going to do is go over here. Um, yeah, I did forget to give ourselves our voting chits. Give me one second here. Oops. There you go. So four is gonna go. Uh, green's gonna go over here. Was four. So he's gonna get another number one, which is great for him, an actual worker. Um, blue has a number two. Uh, I think what blue's gonna do. Blue, blue, blue. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. I think what blue's gonna do is he's gonna go over here. Cause he can't bump out his own guy right so he's gonna try to cover a bit of the board oh so let's look at what's on the board here forgot to look so if you're in three regions on the board here you're gonna get eight points wow that's huge okay i'm definitely gonna try to do that so i'm gonna focus all my attention on this board all right um blue sort of can't get that done because their guys are too low strength to get it done so he's not gonna win that for sure and then oh if you're in two regions so you want to sort of try to be in as many regions as possible because there's two bonuses that might come out uh, for that. And then whoever has the most voting chits is going to get a free upgrade. <laughs> Unfortunately, I might use up all my voting chits to make sure those two pass, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so that was blue. Let's jump back up to me. I got another number two. Um, I mean, nobody's bumping me out, so I really don't know what to do with this guy. I think I'm going to send him to door set. Um, no, he might bump me. Uh, so let me go back up to I. I'll stay first player, and I might actually get my coins so that I can get a, <laughs> I can get a noble next turn because I don't have the money for it right now. So let's go to green. All right. So green's got those squires that he picked up last round, and the number two he can only go here or he has to start bumping people. Um, I think what he's gonna do, he's gonna be mean to me. He's gonna come up here and sort of bump me out over there so I get back my worker. So that's gonna be Blue's turn. And again, Blue sort of can bump himself out. <sighs> it doesn't wanna go there. I think he's gonna be mean. He's gonna come here with one square to bump me. So I'm gonna have both my guys. So both other players are done with their knights and I got bumped twice that round so I'm down back up to two so whoever I bump out is gonna get a knight back uh, so who do I want to bump out so what I can do is be super strategic I can go right over here to not even use a knight give this back to blue and basically green has nothing so it'll be blue's turn so blue wants to go he has no he has no 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 squires left so what he's gonna do is gonna jump in the battle here and I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna go for the upgrade and I think he's gonna upgrade his does he care about this guy because uh, if he upgrades one of these two that's sort of good for him because then it'll be harder for us to boot him but he wants to upgrade him because if not these guys are locked if they don't get to at least three um, But he notices green might just upgrade him anyway because he doesn't want him to get it locked. So what he's going to do is he's going to be more strategic guy. He's going to turn this into a three. There you go. Boom. Comes super hard to knock out. And it comes back up to me. So now I'm like, who should I pick on? Who should I pick on? So I'm already getting an upgrade. I'm going to get a number one. I think I'm going to pick on green. I think I will. Um... No, yeah, because I really want to be on three places on this board because I really want to pass that block. So I'm going to be on green here with two squires. So he's going to lose his squire and he's going to get back his piece and he's the last player with a piece. So he's going to go again and he doesn't have many options. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So what does he want to do? Um, see he wants to be for sure in this at least twice because that's gonna pass so he's gonna be there because everyone else is there at least twice 
So he has a choice. He can go to Dorset, or he can. He has only one square. Yeah, sure. He'll be aggressive. The only place that he can actually place this on the board is right over here. So he's gonna do that. He's gonna return this to me, and I'm again. Blue's gonna go with nothing left. I'm gonna go again. My last placement. By the way, we always have the option to place on our own board. But this usually only happens on round four and five when you have those number ones that really can't do anything on the game board. They're going to come here to give you bonuses. But early early on in the game, there's enough space. Or if you're playing five players, for sure you're going to place on your own board because everything gets filled up really fast. But in a three-player game, it's always wide open. Usually round four or five, you start using it. If not, kind of pointless. So again, I want to be on the board three times. Uh, although I don't really have to. Uh, I can go to the battle as well. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. I could get another voting chit so that I'm gonna have the max for sure and try to win that way. Uh, sure, let's do it that way. I mean, I, I'll miss out on the eight points. Which sucks. Well, they'll vote against me anyway, but at least they'll use up some voting chits. See, I only have one squire left, so I can get a max at three. So I can't boot anyone off on this board unless I go to Dorset. But do I really want to go to Dorset? No. I'm going to come here directly right away. Without my squ You can't put squires down here, by the way. Might have missed it in the uh, overview. <laughs> so I'm going to go here. I'm going to get one of these bonuses. And I think what I'm going to do is instead of getting the money, because it's, I'll have to pay for it anyway, I'll just get a nobleman. And I think the one that I want is, is uh, I'm going to get the B one before it disappears. I already have, no, I don't have A and B, but A is my spot there. Uh, and I do have I, so I'll go get the B one. Put it here. There you go. And there you go, we're done. Nobody else got booted, nobody else has knights, we're done. So, we're going to do the parliament phase next. So this one, we'll vote for it, let's just say it, uh, let's say it passed. Because, just because, because we two people said yes, even though nobody's going to gain a benefit from it. Alright, um, next, this one, so let's vote on it. Uh, I think because I have the most noblemen on my board, I will use at least uh, two votes for yes. And let's just say they both uh, don't really care. Or let's say blue voted no. So let's just say it's a tie, four to four. So let's say it passed. Kind of weird voting for myself or voting against me. And this one, I think, uh, is everyone going to vote yes for it? We're all there twice. Um, although the two, let's see, who doesn't have the twos? Uh, blue, actually blue doesn't have the twos anymore. I have it. And actually blue and green don't have it. Only I have it. Hmm. So maybe if I keep this in play... Is actually better for me because I'm gonna be the only one that scores three. So what I'll do is I'll vote. Oh, so maybe the first one wouldn't have passed because nobody had it. So let's say it didn't pass, and then let's say this one passed. Sorry, I'm changing it up as I go. All right, so there you go. Now we're gonna score the board. I don't know if it's cheating a little bit, but <laughs> I'm the only one with a couple of twos, so I'm gonna gain three points. One, two, three. All right, now the max uh, votes. Unfortunately, I used all my voting for that to happen. So blue is actually going to get a free upgrade, which is great for him. So he's actually going to raise this one here so he can break the tie. Against Actually, he doesn't raise the tie just yet. So he'll see if there's another way. Well, he breaks the tie against green, but not against me just yet. Um, all right, and then after, if you're on the board twice, you'll get one of each. So again, same as before, we're all going to get that. One, two... Three and one, two, three for me. All right, there you go. So we scored all the parliament board. Now we're gonna get rewards. So let's get rid of these squires. 
All right, so for the first one, I still have only two coins, so I have no choice. I gotta do the uh, ability here, or I can get the nobleman, but hmm, I don't have a number one, but I think I'm gonna go for the extension either way. So I don't have A, but I still want the extension because that's points at the end of the game. Plus, I do need my uh, nobleman for my free upgrade, and I'm gonna want to get coins for next turn uh, to get nobleman. So I think what I'm gonna do is get the coins. There you go. Uh, all right, let's just do this fast, fast. So an upgrade, I think what Green's gonna do is he's gonna upgrade his, his one into a two here. Boom. And that one's gonna give him another number one and two voting cubes. Let's give him two voting cubes. And then, uh, actually he would have paid $3 pay three dollars to get the C all right and blue's gonna go here he's gonna get a, uh, a board extension does he need E he does need E so he'll pay three bucks for that and let's see what does he want as a board extension I think he's gonna go for the OP one the squires then I'm gonna go I'll get a number one here and two's gonna go here. He's gonna be first player. He's gonna get the big chunky piece. He's gonna get uh, two and two. He's gonna get his thing back, his knight. There you go, we're done. Let's go to our player boards. Um, so I'm gonna get three dollars and three squires. That's a lot. And four voting cubes. Quite a bit actually and now i have the ability to do this i might as well so i'm going to use two squires to do a upgrade so i think i'm going to upgrade actually i'm going to upgrade actually i don't have a three here <laughs> i see catch 22 unless you have it here you can't upgrade right because i have a three on my board so i can either upgrade my actually i don't have a choice i have no choice i gotta upgrade my three into four all right put this three back and I'm actually gonna do that for the other players and then I'll come back to score this and then we'll go to the next round. All right, looks like Green upgraded this. So he's gonna win first place here. So he's gonna get three points. Let's just move that up. One, two, three. And second place is gonna go to me because I'm tie breaking against Blue. And then this is gonna go to game box. This is gonna slide off. This is gonna go back to us. This is gonna slide down. Refresh for next turn. Slide all these back over. Fill up. So it's gonna be the second last round. You can see this is the game timer. It's gonna be round four. And this is also a game timer. So I'm a little behind, so I'm gonna to have to go into battles to try to score as many points. So usually round three, four, and five, that's when you start dumping a bunch of guys in the battles to try to score the lucrative points. So here you can see it's already six, and it's gonna start going higher and higher. All right, so refresh is done. I'll come back for the start of round four. All right, welcome to round four. Two rounds left. So, um, all right, let's go over to some of the laws to look over. So for every region that you're in here, three points, it's pretty good. Uh, here, it's, oh, that one's interesting. For every place you're here and is accompanied by two squires, it's three points. So essentially, it could be six points per region if you have it accompanied by a squire on the county board. This one is less interesting as you can basically pay for squires or pay squires for gold at a terrible exchange so <laughs> it's not the best all right so let's go so blue actually stole first player from me at the start of the at the end of last round so they're gonna go first um so let's see what does blue want uh at the start of the round they don't have they're actually looking at that too um i think they're gonna be less aggressive they're just gonna chuck out a level one just to see what happens He'll put out a level one there. Um, I'm gonna go next. Uh, I think what I'm definitely gonna do is I'm gonna go here. And the reason I did that is I'm gonna actually take the double squire. So I can get a ton of squires. So when I go into the board with my squires, I can just dump a ton of them to try to get six or nine, nine points even through these laws. So I'm gonna get two squires from the general supply. 
Let's go to green. Green's sort of gonna notice the exact same thing. Um, though a green does have a lead on us, so I think he's thinking about maybe pounding this battle to get the six points and he's gonna really pull up ahead of everyone else. He is falling a bit behind on the castle build, but he's ahead of everyone on the actual knights. Um, he does want another number one though, because he doesn't generate number one. So I think what he's going to do with his number three is he's actually going to go here and see what happens. All right, so blue's going to go next. Again, he's not going to be aggressive. He's just going to start putting guys out and see where they get booted up. Um, so now it's down to me. So I'm going to sort of do the same thing. I do want to be back to first player. Um, I don't mind if he gets booted out of there. That's fine. Uh, all right, so green now has these guys. So he's looking at the board. Hmm. All right, what green's going to do, he doesn't have any squires, though. So it's hard for him to get any... Well, he can get that bonus, but not that one. It'll be harder. Uh... I think what green's gonna do is he's gonna try to be first player. There you go. So blue's up next. And blue is going to. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Blue is going to put his guy right over here. He's gonna go back up to red. I'm holding on to my four. I wanna see what happens on the game board uh, first. But I think I'm going to be super aggressive with my two right now, with two squires. Sort of give a warning shot to everyone. That if they want to come after me, it'll cost them. But where do I want to put this? So, my number twos can only go in certain areas on the board. Um, I don't want to get green angry because he has a number four that can boot me out later. Um... So I don't need more board extensions, to be honest. So what I'm thinking about doing is booting blue right over here. So this is gonna go back to blue. So blue's swearing at me right now. Um, yeah, so green's gonna go next. I think what green's gonna do, pretty simple, is just gonna boot me here. And then blue's gonna go next. <sighs> I think what blue wants to do is they need an upgrade. So they're gonna go over here. Now back up to me. Do I wanna? Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. I don't mind losing him if we don't win this battle. He's gonna get locked, but he's the number one, so he's fine. So if nobody joins me in this battle, I'll still gain either three or one point depending on who else joins this battle. And I think what I'm gonna take from here is the upgrade. And what I'm going to do is just to make certain that I keep this one, I'm going to change this one into a three. Because I don't want to lose that spot. All right. Um, next, we're going to go to green, who's holding his number four. So he can come in and really dominate any spot that he wants. Um... Let's see, let's see, where does he want to dominate? He can like, I think he's gonna just dominate this board, to be honest. But he does want to score, because remember, the battles are where you score a ton of points. So I think what he's gonna do, he's gonna plop his thing there, he's guaranteed to gain the four points there, and if anyone wants to join him, they'll only get two points. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Or he can go here, which is be five, See if somebody else joins to make it seven. Yeah, sure, he'll go here instead. And by that, he's gonna go get the noble min. So he's looking at his board, he's got B and C. So he'll steal the last A before it disappears. There you go. Boom. Um, already, although blue already had the A. Let me just double check. So actually, well, oh, there you go. It doesn't really matter because, yeah. Let's keep it like that. Now it's gonna go back to blue. 
He's got a number two and a couple of squires. Um, where does he want to go? I think what blue is going to do is he wants to go here to get three points because that'll be great for him. Unfortunately, though, he doesn't really care about these bonuses. He'd rather put it here to try to get the H. So he's going to go here. Now it's, I'm last. I got one token left. So I can be super aggressive and go here in my last token um, to get the six points. But again, I don't really care about these bonuses. I can kick out blue, maybe, and put the double squire there. It's a bit overkill, but it is going to give me an extra three points. Plus, I'll get to move this into the battle later. Actually, this is going to go on top of my one, so it's a five to win that battle. Um, although, I just realized something. If I don't put another guy here, this guy is going to be ransomed. Now I have to pay two gold for him, or I won't get him back. Although, I have a ton of gold, so I really don't care. Uh, what do I need? I'm, I need another number one. Uh, I just realized that. So I think what I'm going to do is say, hello, Mr. Green. I'm going to come here and I'm going to come with my two squires. So Green's going to get booted. So Green goes, no. Um, so Green. So what are Green's options? He can go here, but he knows Blue's just going to come back on top of him with one squire. So I think what he's going to do is going to kick out Blue here so he can add to either this battle or this battle. He'll see how it shakes out to get the points. So now Blue's the only one left. He's got a number two with a couple of squires. Um, ay, 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 ay. He's already there. He's already there. Um, he's already getting an upgrade and a guy. That's really good for Blue. So where else can he put his two? And he's up there. Uh, actually, you know what? He'll go right over here. He'll join the battle. So he's going to actually get the tiebreaker against me unless I uh, upgrade twice, which probably won't happen. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So that's the end of the round. Maybe that was stupid of me because now I'm only on the board twice, <laughs> which isn't great because if that scores, they're going to score more points than me. Although this one's better for me, but then they'll all vote no against it. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're done. Probably paid, played that dumb. So let's uh, do the parliament board. So let's vote for this. I have a ton of, I have like twice as much voting power as everyone else though. That's the issue. So for this one, I'll actually vote no. For no chits, they'll both vote yes and they'll throw in a couple of cubes each. Just to make sure that it passes. Boom, then they'll pass this. So this goes away. Although everyone's going to score this and I'm only going to score this, but it doesn't matter. Then we're going to vote on this. So they don't want it to happen, but I really do want it to happen. So I'm going to vote a ton. So I'm going to actually vote four uh, cubes to it. And let's say they combine for, let's say two. So it still passes. So this goes in, this comes out. And this one's kind of terrible for everyone, so they're going to vote no because they want to get that bonus anyway because everyone's in there twice, so this is going to say no. All right, there you go. So let's score this, so everyone's going to get one of these. One, one, one. One, one, one. And I'm going to get one, one, one. Let's get that. And that. All right, so now the score regions. So I'm going to get six, and both of the other guys are going to get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of stupid by my part. I should have realized that and not send two guys out on the battle, but mistakes are made. Now, um, then we're going to do that one. I'm only going to be the only one that scores, so I'm going to actually score six for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was pretty smart by me, but I only netted three points on them overall. So. After that, we're going to go to the rewards phase. So we're going to score the counties first. So blue first, you're going to get this. Uh, there's no more guys to get. So he's just going to do an extension. 
So let's pick which one he wants. He's gonna go get the uh, double vote. Might, might as well. Then I'm gonna go. Well, let's get rid of these. So this is gonna be a free upgrade. So I'll take back my my three. And I think I'm gonna upgrade this one to a two. Then this one resolves. I'm gonna get another number one, and I'm gonna get two voting shits or cubes. Well, I'm gonna have a ton of votes for next round. Then three is gonna get an upgrade. Uh, to be fair, the only thing they can upgrade is to a four, so they'll upgrade their three into a four. And get back this with two voting cubes. Then he's gonna go get a board extension. He's gonna pick the. Sure, this one. Uh, does he have three dollars to pay for this? He does, so he's gonna pay for it. Let me get this one. Um, actually, Blue would have paid for this one too. He's got a ton of money. And on this one, he's just gonna get another number one. Alright, so this one, uh, Green doesn't have $3, he has a choice. Um, but I think what he's gonna do is gonna send his guy, instead of taking the nobleman, he's gonna send this guy here. So we're gonna beat the battle, and he's gonna get 4 points. So that's that, and then lastly, he's gonna be first player. And we'll give him, we'll give him, actually, you know what, instead of taking the resources, because he has a ton of them, he's gonna take this one. So now he's definitely leading in Nobleman by quite a bit actually. So there you go, we resolved the main board. We're gonna go to our player board area. So I'll do this for me and then I'll come back for the, the conflicts. So I'm gonna get three coins and three guys again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, where was I on the board? I should have paid, sorry. I was supposed to pay $3 for that uh, that seat, nobleman. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Um, then I would have had another three, because I just gained three. Was I on that board twice? Yeah, but there's no nobleman on B. I already had it. Okay, so that, we're good. Um, yeah, so am I gonna spend two? Yep, I am. So I'll spend two to do an upgrade. So I'll change my one. Actually, I can't upgrade anything. Everything's already upgraded. I just have ones left. So I can't actually do that. Uh, so let me get my squires back. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that for the other players. I'll come back for the conflict. All right, I forgot to give myself my voting cubes. So now voting power <laughs> on mass. Um, all right, so we're going to score our conflicts. And then we're going to reset for the last round. So here... Um, green is gonna win, so he's gonna score six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, England wins, but he has the most, so he's gonna get six. He's gonna get this back. And then blue tie breaks against me, so he's gonna get three. Which kind of sucks, and then I'm gonna get one point. And this is gonna go to game box. We're gonna get our guys back. And then for this conflict here, we win. So green's gonna get another three. And I'm gonna get only two. Then this goes away. That sucks. I sort of went in there too early because now I lost on points. I lost at least maybe three points on all of that. So that could be the difference in the game. All right, so let's reset for the last round. I'm gonna flip these over. Ooh, the big ones, seven and six. It's gonna be a fight to go there. And we're gonna get our last three laws. So if you have one of each, which everyone's going to have, six points, so it's going to be easy. This is, you can turn in your resources at the end of the game for three points each, which is great. You might want to save your resources. And this one is uh, whoever has the most guys in uh, the county, I believe, is going to get five points, which is good too. All right, so there we go. Let's go to the last round. All right, last round. Ah, man, it looks like Green is so far ahead of everyone else. He's first player. He's ahead in points. 
and I see a combo. So those two Squire bonus at the beginning of the game that I gave him that I didn't give the other two players looks like it's going to be the difference in this game. But let's just see who wins anyway. Um, well, although this round he's only going to have four workers and everyone else is going to have five or six. So we'll see how, what happens. So, But you know what? He's going to go first and I think what he's going to do, he's going to dump his number one in any of these battles. I think he's going to go into this one here just so that he can get his nobleman. I mean, it's going to be useful for him because he's ahead on nobleman anyway. So he's going to pick up one of them that he's missing. So I think he's missing the D one. So he's just going to go and get it. Uh, so he's he's got two noblemen more than everyone else. And if he gets another one, he's going to score 21. Yeah, I think this one might be in the bag, but let's just see what happens. So blue's going to go next. And I think blue sort of looking at the board is going to do the same exact thing. Um, He's going to try to use some of his number ones here. Um, he's going to try to win a battle. <laughs> so he's going to go here. And I think what he's going to do is going to do the upgrade. So he's got a three. He's going to exchange his two to a three. So he's winning. He's going to try to win the total knight strength. He's already on his way. All right, down to me. I think I need to jump in a battle before all these bonuses disappear. It's sort of last round, everyone just starts dumping their guys in there and just to see how many points they can score. I think what I'm going to do is try to win one. <laughs> I don't want to go into that one right away. I think I'm going to be super aggressive. I'm going to put my... Actually, I'm going to put my two. It's not that aggressive, but I'll put my two. It's because I want to keep my three and my four because my three and my four could actually be used on the game board. Uh, in better places so what i think i'm gonna do is get my two squires so now i have more squires than everyone else hopefully i'll do better on the game board let's put that behind my shield so green's gonna go next um so what does he need he's he knows he's not gonna win the board and the extensions so that's not good he's looking at here um get one of each knight he's missing a number one actually <laughs> So I think he's going to want to go get his number one here. So he's going to go right over here to try to score the six points here. He's just missing his number one. All right, so let's go to blue. Blue's already got that done and so do I. So we don't really care about getting specific knights. Uh, let's see, blue is way behind though. Blue has to dump a bunch of guys in here to win a bunch of battles. So I think what they're going to do is Think what they're gonna do is actually put their four because they they don't they need green not to score that many points so he's gonna go crazy and put his four here and I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna do the extra squire as well boom just like that all right so that was blue and down to me what do I need um, I wouldn't mind getting some board extensions, but I mean, if I don't get both, blue's going to win no matter what, because they're actually missing just one to fill up their board. Uh, for the total knights, I'm at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually, you can count from the board. We're actually tied. So I have two points. And he has two points. So I just need a couple of number ones as well, but green went into my number one spot. I can put it there, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to put my number one here and see if somebody boots me up. So now it's going to be green's turn. Green only has two workers, which sucks. <sighs> so now he's got a... I think what he's going to do, he's just going to go here. He's going to have presence on the board, and this one allows him to add to a battle later, so he might swing the battle in a specific way. All right, so let's go to blue. I think blue, like I said, trying to win the... Uh, he can win both. He can win the overall... Uh, extensions and the most knights because he's ahead he gets another number one and number two um, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna put his number one here to get a board extension there you go now back up to me ah oh, man I think I'm gonna start kicking people out here <laughs> uh, although if I get both board extensions I'm gonna actually steal the points from blue because there's no other way to get a board extension all right so that's what I'm gonna try to do I think I'm gonna put my two here and then I'll see if anyone boots me up. Then green, ah, green was hoping somebody would boot him because now he doesn't know what to do with his number four. 
And I think just to put a stranglehold on everyone, he's going to go over here to get the six points. And he's going to be able to get this noble, which is like another four points. So that's like 10 point play for him. So he's going to see if that can rocket him up here, uh, score a bunch of points. And we're going to go blue. Ah, blue, 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 blue. Blue wants to win a couple of battles as well. Um, so I think what blue is going to do. Hmm. I think what blue is going to do is he's going to go in here. Yeah, he's going to go in here, but he's going to chuck two squires as well. And the reason he's doing that is that's a pretty powerful squire. He's going to be able to get the H and he's going to be able to like what green wanted to do, sort of a change the battle in a specific way. Like he can put his three right here and he's going to win this battle over me because uh, he's going to have a total more. So I'm going to have to put my 3 or my 4 into this battle to be sure to win. Which kind of sucks. Alright, then it's me. Um, I think what I got to do is I got to boot blue. I got to go here. And I'm going to add a squire just so I can get that extension down. Now it's going to be green's turn. Um, ah, green would have loved to have kept that one. Um, green's not going to win the board extension and he's not going to win the total strength so he doesn't really care about the board the only thing he cares about though is if those pieces stay up there uh, he does want another region because if any of those stay he wants to have places on the board so we can score some points so he has a ton of squires. He doesn't mind using some. So let's say he has going to do this. Let's just say. And I think what he's going to do is. He doesn't really care about the extensions. He's not going to win that. He's not going to be able to win this against me. So he won't bother winning that one. Because he'll lose anyway. Um, and he knows I'll just come back on top of him. Um, there he won't go. He won't be able to beat that. He won't be able to beat that. Um. Alright, so he's going to come here with a couple of squires and boot me in the back. So let's go to blue. Blue's kind of in a rough spot. He's got a bunch of ones and a two. Uh, he's going to go here just so he can get his free upgrade. So he's going to win the, uh, the total, I think, for sure. Then back up to me. I got my four and my one. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? I got a ton of squires. I might as well start using them. Although I might not want to use all of them because I might be able to exchange them for points later. But I don't mind using two. But I don't want to go to upgrade because I'm only missing ones. So I can go there, but it's going to cost me three squires to go there. Ugh, that's rough. Another thing I'm thinking is if I go here and I gain these resources, I'll be able to exchange a crazy amount but then I'll have this I would need this to pass for a lot no matter what as well uh, and I'll be in three places so I'll actually maybe have the most regions and I have a four left which I'll be able to get my fourth guy out there actually, I actually have a better idea I'm actually gonna use my four yeah I'm gonna use my four with two squires to boot out blue right here um, yeah, I'll do that. So blue gets this back. Green has nothing left. Blue's turn. <sighs> well, blue's gonna kick me out here with a couple of squires because he needs one extension to be guaranteed to win the the total uh, for all his extensions. So that's like eight point play for him. So that's great. And back up to me. So it's just a fight back and forth between me and blue, I guess, at this point. Unless we boot out green. Um, so what I'm going to do. Is I'll actually put my one here. To gain three coins. Then it's blue. I think what blue is going to do is. Gain the resources here, and I'm gonna go. And 
and I think let's see can I I need another number one I actually have to boot out green unfortunately so I'm gonna actually use I'm gonna use my number two and three squires to boot out green from here so it's gonna go here it's gonna be here with two three squires that's a five total that's crazy it's really high for that spot but it's sort of it sort of twisted my arm unfortunately so now he's gonna go fortunately there's not many places for him to go uh, I think he's just gonna go into battles yeah actually he's gonna break the tie here against me he's gonna go here um, yep yeah. and then we're gonna do uh, blues last <sighs> and I think blues is gonna add to this battle get two more coins and there you go so now we're done we're all out of workers so uh, we're gonna do the parliament board so max let me just double check what that means I'll be right back all right uh, actually I read it wrong this is the max conflicts is actually gonna win five points but it's gonna be blue so both me and green are gonna vote no so let me simulate that we're voting let's say blue uses uh, four chits to say yes green uses uh, three to say no and I use four to say no so a ton of votes so it doesn't pass so we toss this out um, then this one here um, I'm actually gonna vote no for that one for sure because I only have one squire I don't want anyone else to do a better exchange than me so I'm gonna dump everything so I'm gonna go six let's say green votes four for yes and and blue votes three for no so the no's win because also me and blue both had almost no squires left so green was the only one that wanted that one to pass so let's throw our votes out this is gonna go away and now this one let's just say uh, I mean we're all in the region anyway so <laughs> Let's just say we all pass it because we don't really care about more resources for the end of the game. So it's going to slide down. It's going to go like this. All right. So there you go. So now we're going to score uh, the parliament here. So for every region, you can score three points. So one, two, three. Blue's going to get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Red's going to get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then uh, green's going to get six. Oh, we're catching up the green now for every place that you're here with two squares you'll get three two for me so that's six uh, blue gets three and actually green oh wow okay now oh, it's because we booted green twice because he had two squares so he lost six points there wow that was a crazy swing and now that's six everyone's gonna get six one Okay, so there you go. So now we're done with the laws. That's all good. We're gonna score the county board. So blue here. Let's get rid of these squires. All right. So blue's gonna get an extension here, which is gonna make him fill up his whole board. Here he's gonna get an upgrade. So the only thing he can do is upgrade a one to a two. So he'll upgrade this one to this two here. Put that back. Then uh, green's gonna go get a one and two voting chits. Not that it matters. Um, then I'm gonna go get my extension, even though it's kind of pointless. Although it'll make me second place for board extensions. So I think I'm gonna go get this one here. So I was missing only one in total. Uh, the reason I'm not checking for nobles, there's no nobles until we get to the end here. So this one's going to give me a, a 1. I'm actually tied with blue. So I think we're both going to share the 8 points for that. Um, then we're going to come here. So this is a 10 point play for green. He's going to put this on his board. And he's going to score 6 points. So that's great for green. Alright, oops. Now this, so here I am going to pay three bucks to get the nobleman 
and I'm going to add this to a battle. So I can actually put it here to score seven points or here to score six points. Um, or here. So wherever I put the here, uh, wherever I put this, I'm going to win the battle. See here, it's a net of five and here it's a net of seven. All right, so I'm going to go here. There you go. So I just, unless blue has a, no, blue can't place anything there. So we're good. And then finally, blue's going to get uh, two coins and two nobles. That acts as a tiebreaker at the end of the game. All right, let's go to our own player board last, for the last time. So let's get, I'm going to get three dollars and three nobles, uh, three squires. All right, so now I get to do one of these. I think I'm just going to do this one because I only have one left here. So I'm only going to do that one. So it's going to cost me three squires to get my last number one. So I basically unlocked every single knight. I have none left, but I'm going to do that for the other players as well. Now I'll just come back for the conflict. All right, that was that. So we're gonna finally score these conflicts. This is the last thing. So for this one, oof, blue, we all have two. He's gonna score actually six points. Wow, crazy swing. Green's gonna score three. And even though I tie, that's a five point swing because I went there first. So these are gonna return. Uh, so this goes away. So now we're gonna score this one. So this one, blue again, four. And then I'll score two. These are going to go away. This goes away. And finally, the big one here. I'm going to score seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blue's going to score three. And green's going to score two. Look at that. It's going to be close. All right. Now we're going to score the majorities. So we're going to start off with the max knights. So both... Uh, Blue and I have it maxed out, so we're going to both score 8 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Um, so, actually wait, the tiebreaker. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 one second. Let me just double check the tiebreaker. There is a tiebreaker. I believe it is money. Sorry about that. Sorry, it's it's uh, squires. So actually, he's he beats the tiebreaker over me. So I move back. I move back four, and then the extensions. The tiebreaker. Well, he wins it anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna score four. All right. So oh wow, blue uh, is in a great position. Now we're gonna finally score our nobles. So blue, unfortunately, is only gonna score three. I'm going to score 10. Wow. And then green is going to score actually 21. Let's see if he can catch up. One. Oh, he's at 50. So 71. Oh, look at that. It's a tie. I'm not even joking. Look at that. Tie game. Is there a tiebreaker for the uh, overall tie? Let's double check. Oh, we share the victory. That's kind of garbage. So there you go. So the rules say if it's a tie game, you share the victory. So it looks like green and red tied overall. And green did it without putting all his knights out, which is great. And that's it. That's the game. Uh, green did it by getting a ton of nobles. I did it with a bunch of everything. Um, if I would have maybe broken another tie or been in one more battle or not got screwed over by all the twos there, maybe would have pulled ahead. Anyway, so there's Lancaster. Uh, tell me what you think, if I made any mistakes, if you like the game, if not, if not, I'll see you on the next one. Later.